In this video, we're going to look at four free stock image sites that you can use to find images for your content online. So these websites will allow you to browse different AI image generators. So the output that all our users have made, you can actually browse those uh, photos and search those photos and download them to use in your own content. So this is a great way that you can use AI art generators, but not have to go through the process of creating all the images yourself. You can actually search in these search engines to find those right images that you can use within your content. So let's jump into it and look at the very first website that we'll be discussing today. So the first website we're going to look at is Lexica. So that's lexica.art. So Lexica is based on Stable Diffusion. So all of the images here are generated by Stable Diffusion. Um, it allows us to search, so we can put in a search term. So you can see the output of these images is quite high. Um, it looks very animated, very um, childlike and sort of design, but I think this is the style that's um, been used probably because we're putting in the cute term, um, but the output is like really phenomenal. I, I think this is really, really impressive. So we can download these URLs or copy them. Um, we can also copy the prompt itself. Uh, we can like it, um, but it gives us a real flexibility in terms of searching for images and being able to just download them rather than create them. Um, so the next example we're gonna look at is nightcafe.studio. And this allows you to search all of the images are created on Night Cafe. Um, so again, this is using, I think it's using a combination of different uh, image generators. So I think they use Stable Diffusion along with a few other ones, but we can search for the same phrase again, just to give some examples. And the output, again, really, really good. Um, a variety of different styles here being shown in the images. And once we open that up, uh, we can see this image and there's some description here beside it. So the image quality is really, really high. I think especially around like generating the eyes. Um, a lot of this is kind of anime style as well. Um, but if you zoom in on this, the, the detail is really phenomenal. And I think it's just really impressive that we've got this style of images at this time. Um, we can search for a lot of different things here. I'm going to give an example of a woman walking in the rain um, just to see what happens with this one. And again, some of the styles here are anime and uh, very cyberpunk style. Some of these like the colors, the vibrance that's being used. Um, but the output is just really, really nice. I really like it. So again, the example here, woman walking in the rain, dark cyberpunk. I'm really impressed by the output quality. You have some additional search parameters here that you can, can control um, to filter by, but that requires having a pro account. Um, so the examples that we're using here are just free accounts um, to access this based on search terms. So the next example we'll look at is open art. It says openart.ai. And again, this allows us to search um, from more than 10 million prompts have been generated via Stable Diffusion and DALI 2. So this enables us to search for images that have been generated in the past by other users. So let's have a search for a man cooking a barbecue and see what this turns up. So I'm hoping we get some real looking photography styles here. And the first few, uh, we have a few different styles going on. There is, um, it looks like more of a painting style here, like a Van Gogh, Van Gogh style painting. Um, but again, we can be more definitive in what we're searching for to get the exact output that we want. So a lot of different styles going on here. Um, but I'm gonna open up one of these with a person in it just to have a better look at this. So the food is always quite impressive in the output from these AI generators, that's something I really notice. Now this is created using Stable Diffusion. Uh, we can use the same kind of image by copying the term that has been used to generate this. Um, I'm just gonna flick through some of these to show. Uh, one thing I noticed that the faces are kind of weird in some of the output, um, but if you focus more on the food, the, the output tends to be a lot better, I notice, um, especially using uh, this site. So scrolling down and we look at some of the food photos, um, they, look, they look really, really amazing in my opinion. Um, this just looks real to me. I don't, I don't uh, know what you guys think, but it looks like really, really spectacular. I think you could use these on your website, no problem. Again, some of the kebabs and uh, things. Yeah, it just looks really, really nice. It just looks real to me. It's really, really impressive. I can't get over how good that looks.
So lots of images to choose from in this website. I think this is really useful search tool, uh, trying to find the right images for your blog or your website or your marketing materials. Um, lots of great examples on open art. So check that out. So each of these links I'll put in the description below. And the final example I'm gonna look at is slightly different. This is based on faces. So if you wanna use uh, AI generated faces for maybe um, a website you're creating, maybe it's a, a side project or something, um, whatever the use case you have for this, you can search for thousands and thousands of faces and you have the option to uh, click to say that this person seems real or not. So over time, this output will get better and better based on the user selection here but it does require you to have an account. I suppose that's to make sure that the actual votes are uh, valid. And to download on the site, unfortunately it is paid. They have a free trial where you can test out some free photos, but um, there are millions of photos on this website to choose from. Um, for commercial use, you have to have a subscription or just buy them one off, uh, one off purchase. But um, I think if you have a site or a project that requires lots of different faces, this would probably be worth paying for because the output quality is really, really high and you can filter based on uh, age, ethnicity, eye color, hair color, uh, lots of things here to customize the search by. So in this case, I'm just using the head pose as a means to filter these images. So left pose, right pose. And we can select different age categories so I'm going to pick middle-aged and we can select the hair color or eye color. So let's set this to blonde, see how it turns out. So it's really cool that you can just like generate or filter by, you know, thousands of different faces based on these, uh, these different uh, controls on the sidebar. So in this case, I'm going to change the age group to adult. And yeah, we got lots and lots of uh, very realistic looking photos to choose from. So maybe there's a reason you can use this. If you want to use this, the website is generated.photos. That's the URL. Um, I will include a link to this in the description below as with all of the other sites. So hopefully you guys have found this video helpful. If you have, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. And I will see you guys in the next video.